kind of a big deal. The Resurrection of the Cheapy, and this one had a little bit of talk about and a little bit of hype for a very short stint, but it's still a fragrance that's under 50 bucks. You can potentially find it even cheaper than that. So let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on and let you know if this shit is worth a cop or is definitely a drop. Plus, in one of my beautiful peoples, you know who it is. This is your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. I've never spoken about a fragrance from this brand. It's not a house, it's a brand. Most likely any of your girlfriends, mothers, aunties have gone into the store to buy lotion to stroke all over their chesticles. The store is Bath and Body Works and the fragrance is none other than bourbon. Now as a person who likes a good glass of a whiskey or bourbon, this definitely caught my attention. This was one of a bundle that I bought from this house. And this is the first one that I want to speak about and smell because I am a bourbon lover. Although I haven't drank in a while because of this whole like surgery shit. But I won't neglect the love of bourbon and whiskey that I have. Now, let's smell this shit. I haven't smelled it. It literally just came in the mailbox. First impressions, first shot. Let's see what we're working with. So we're looking at Bath & Body Works Bourbon. The shit retails, I believe, for $39.99. And let's see what we working with. Okay. Very standard, generic, mass appealing. Has zero bourbon. Nothing bourbon-y at all other than the alcohol that is used to create this fragrance, but there is nothing bourbon. You can get a fucking whiff of nothing bourbon. Obviously, this is the opening, maybe on the dry down, but right now, nothing bourbon. What I am getting is a similarity to like some Abercrombie and Fitch shit. It has that kind of vibe. Very mass appealing, less sharp, less abrasive than Abercrombie and Fitch, like fierce. And something else. It's got a little bit of powderiness to it. Synthetic y sweet amber powderiness. A little bit of peppery. Youthful, fun. It's not bad. It's really not bad at all. There's just no bourbon. Like, I wanted a little bit of bourbon. I think if this had a bourbon flair, it would have switched it up very differently and this would have been a different story. The problem is that on paper right now, and this is completely first impressions, I haven't even put this shit on my skin, but on paper, you can just tell the performance is gonna be shit. Let me spray some on myself just to get a idea. Oh, it comes off a little, that, that red coloring does come off on the skin a little bit. Not too much though. Oh, Jesus, it's like dripping everywhere. On skin, it kind of smells like Dolce. Yeah, it smells like, I don't know, on paper, it smelled like Abercrombie, but on, it smells like The One. Like on paper, it's very Abercrombie and Fitch, and on wrist, it's kind of Dolce The One, the original joint. But yeah, I can definitely tell that this shit is gonna perform garbage. This is gonna be something you throw in a bag, a gym bag, or an after work bag, or a man purse, or a merce, or a bitch bag like I like to wear. It does, But it does definitely have a compliment factor. It's very mass appealing. It has that DNA that's very loved. Again, sweet, slightly spicy, fake amber, powdery, mass appealing, Abercrombie and Fitch, the one. Yeah, but it's like almost gone though. Wow, that's pretty sad. Again, it was just like a spray and a half, but yeah. It's not a bad fragrance, I just think the performance is gonna be shit of it, but I mean, for the price, it could have been worse. I just wish it had some kind of fucking bourbon something in it. Is this a ball sprayer for me? I like the price, I like the smell, I can tell the performance is gonna be shit, and I'm disappointed that it's not bourbon, so I'll give it a quarter ball spray. That's it, that's it, no more. Let me know what you guys think of bourbon from Bath & Body Works, and I love y'all motherfuckers from the hearts. Which other Bath & Body Works fragrance you wanna see next? Cause I did back a couple of them, so let me know. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what, it's the biggest in the fucking game, son. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, holder roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the
the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would.